going to mug me. I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the decent marathon. Download. This is Hammersley calling you on VHF channel one six over. Robson one, this is Hammersley calling you on VHF channel one. Why don't you get some sleep, Nav? Oh, it's been a long night for everyone, sir. Well, longer for you. You've been on since first watch. What are the Robsons doing in the middle of the Arafura? Diving for coral, I imagine. Yeah, but the coroner's due to give his finding into ET's death. Yes, sir. I would have thought they'd be in port for that. The Coast Watch have found wreckage in the water. Roger. Uh, sir, I have a visual. Right ahead. Lone swimmer in the water, 1,000 yards. Slow ahead, both engines. Oh, well, ma'am, slow ahead, both engines. You hear there, Captain speaking. We've spotted a man in the water. Stand by to recover by swimmer. Hey, even on the recovery line. Avast. <laughs> Any sign of Simone? No. Walk back on the recovery line. Right Get him inboard. Yep. Lieutenant Jeff Kershaw, ex Royal Australian Navy. <laughs> Permission to come aboard, sir. Ah, uh, please, call me Jeff. And your ex-Navy, you said? Yeah, navigator on Norman. And the old mine hunters. <laughs> yeah. I swallowed the anchor back in 2001 and been running a small export business out of Cairns ever since. Where are you heading? Stormy. On the way back from Dilly. I hope you're insured. So do I. Is there anyone we can contact for you in Cairns? Let them know you're OK? Nah, nah. I'm solo on that front. Right. A bit like you, Captain Flynn. Married to the RAN? Like me? Yeah. Mighty Mike Flynn. I went through Ad for a couple of intakes after this bloke. You left quite an impression there. Excuse me. Uh, Coast Watch have spotted the Robson's vessel. They made it to the Leah Barkley Island, but they're not responding to calls. Thanks. Uh, Jeff Kershaw, Lieutenant Captain McGregor, our XO. Good to meet you. Looks like so, you might be riding along with us for a bit, Jeff. We've still got a mayday to respond to. Oh, no worries. Now I've set a course from Barkley Island. Chance to see how these armor rails compared to the old Fremantle. A comparison, mate. Chalk and cheese. Looks intact. 
I still can't raise anyone on VHF. Take a boarding party, check her out. Yes, sir. Someone appears to have been abandoned, but she's undamaged. Over. What about her anchor? Anchor? Uh, anchor's been let go, man. It's been let go, sir. Okay. Check the logbook out. See if anything's been recorded. Out. XO. Copy that. What is it? Uh, sir, we've just found a sizable cache of weapons on the fly bridge. Over. Say again, X. Yeah, boss, we've got two styres, two MP5s and a spike-guided missile. I repeat, a spike-guided missile. Sir, this is heavy-duty hardware here. OK, X, I want you to list the weapons and their serial numbers, then post a sentry on the boat and coordinate a search of the island. The Robsons may have gone ashore. I'll send over a second rip. Out. Copy that. What would the Robsons want with all of this? A large cache of armaments, sir, just sitting on the deck. Did you get the serial numbers? Well, my RO's emailing them through to you as we speak. Matt and Simone Robson, they had some huge coral and aquarium business and there was, there was some incident with the divers or...? Yes, sir. Eight divers died, including Josh Holliday, our electronic technician. It's hard to believe that they'd be involved in weapon smuggling. Listen, Mike, those serial numbers have started to come through. I'll check them out and get back to you. Permission to come onto the bridge, sir. Come on up, Jeff. And no, sir, just Mike. Jeff Kershaw, ex Navy, Chief Engineer Andy Thorpe, Radio Operator Robert Dixon. It's charged, and it's good to have an ex Navy man aboard. Charlie A2, this is X Ray 2. Sir. Go ahead, X. Sir, we're currently. A female XR, right? Yeah, and a female navigator, no less. <laughs> that wouldn't happen in my day. Unless you boys got the cook part right. Right, OX, keep me informed. Out. You are uh, chasing down some missing civilians? Yeah, all part of the job. Makes for a varied workplace. <laughs> it's the problem of that being the CO, eh? Stuck up on the bridge giving all the orders while everyone else gets to have the fun. I'm lucky. I've got an outstanding crew. No, I think they're lucky to have a CO of your calibre. I think they're still talking about this bloke at Adfa. Must have been that whoopee cushion I put under the Admiral's <laughs> seat at graduation parade. You didn't hear that. Anything to dads? Negative X. We might push west. Scrubber head's pretty inaccessible. X? Something's being dragged through here. OK, let's spread out. There's a lot of guns around today, so be alert. Fine, boss. Uh, a little bit dehydrated and obviously shaken up, but otherwise okay. Right, thanks. You found them. Did you get some sleep? No, not really. X? Hey. You must be the nav. Yep. Jeff Kershaw. Nikki Katano. Just to share your rank and the same skill set. Charge has told me all about you. 
Mr. and Mrs. Robson, could you tell us what happened to you after your Mayday transmission? Oh, I managed to get some shelter near the island. And then we lost the radio. It was my idea to trek to the top this morning, get a sat phone signal. And that's when you were attacked? This guy held us at gunpoint and tied us up. You have no idea who this man was or what those weapons were doing on your vessel? I liked the keys to our boat in the time, huh? It seems he wanted the Robson's boat, sir. Well, I'm guessing to transport all the weapons. Uh, Mike, yeah, we've traced those serial numbers to a large case of weaponry stolen from an army base in Darwin about six months ago. What, it's army ordnance? Well, the feds have been after a former warrant officer, uh, Shane Davis, in connection with the theft. He was an army ammunition technician till he was dishonorably discharged. Well, at least we got them back. Well, not all of them, I'm afraid. I mean, Davis stole enough to outfit a small army or a rebel group or a, or a terrorist cell. But, Mike, I want you to lead this search personally, all right? What do we do with the Robsons? They can stay put until this situation's resolved. We'll keep two sentries on their boat, but with our typhoon on display, I don't think anyone's going to try and take it. I'll pipe the order. Yeah. Listen up. If Davis is on this island with his stolen hardware, he's not going to give it up easily. What about the feds, boss? The earliest they can get here is tomorrow morning. I want teams of two. Swain with me. We'll head east. Sir. Buffer with Spider. Take the island's west flank. What about me, boss? Stay with the rib. Davis obviously has transport issues. I don't want to give him a leg up in that department. Watch your oppo's back. Let's go. So we've got two MTU 16-valve, 2300 kilowatt diesels driving twin screws through a ZF transmission. <laughs> that, that is propelling 2700 tonnes of steel at 25 knots. That's impressive. Yeah, I know. What's her draft? About 2.4 metres. Range? 3000 miles at 12 knots. That is 25% more than a Fremantle. <laughs> Does she give you any trouble? If only my ex-girlfriend was as undemanding and as easy on the eye. <laughs> hey, Judge, what's this on the screen? Oh, that's austere. It's temporary accommodation. We use it for foreign fishermen, even as a makeshift hospital. Mm. And over here... White and one, just white. Ah, cheers. Thank Sorry. You. Nikki. It's just what we need after the couple of days we've had. I was actually surprised to hear that you were out on the water. I thought that you'd be at the coroner's inquest into the deaths of your crew. Well, that's exactly where we were heading till this storm hit us. We did give our evidence last week. What did you say? I mean, sorry, what do you think happened? Well, obviously we don't know for certain. As far as I can tell, an accident with the oxygen supply. Eight divers. All eight of them. Things can happen pretty fast if the supply's contaminated. They would have had to ignore safety procedures, though. Unfortunately, people cut corners. Look, we're as confused and frustrated as anyone. We've lost our colleagues, our friends. We understand you lost a shipmate, too. Yeah. He was my fiance, Josh Holiday. We called him E.T. Oh, Nikki, I, I had no idea. He just proposed. We were going to get married. Josh was a great guy. We both really liked him. We are so, so sorry. Now to the bridge. Excuse me. So, slave your primary system onto your target. Press fire. Typhoon will obliterate it in 50 rounds a minute. <laughs> Makes a mockery of the old bofers. Yeah. <laughs> Anything, Buff? No, nothing, boss. We're approaching the island's westernmost point. OK, hug the coastline north. We'll rendezvous on the beach there and reassess. Yeah, roger that. Out. X-ray 82, Captain. This is X-ray 82. Go ahead. 
We might need some more numbers over, over here, X, to cover more ground. Prep a second shore party, over. Okay, copy that. So, Buffer, we're in pursuit of a single subject heading northeast. Stand by, over. Copy that, we're on our way. Buffer, I'm hearing gunfire. It's that way, sir. Sir, the subject is firing on us. We're on our way. I think I hit him. Is it red buffer? Yeah, boss. You think the subject's down? Stand by, over. Careful, buff. He's not bleeding. I'm pretty sure I hit him. He's got a vest on, Spider. Impact must have knocked him out. All under control, Buffer. False alarm. Kevlar. Mr. Davis, we've already found some of the stolen ordnance. Where's the rest of it? Answer him. But for you and Swain taking back to the ship, Spider and I'll look for these weapons. You okay? You're fine. Let's go. Right, take him up to the ward room and get him patched up. Hate to see his big brother. Ah, uh, Lieutenant? Yes, Mr. Robson. That's not the man who attacked us. It's just been a while since I've actually shot someone, boss. You did well, Spider. It was justifiable self-defense, and your report will reflect that. Boss? Looks like we hit the mother line. Charlie 82, this is X-ray 82 over. Go ahead, X. Sir, the man that Buffer and Swain brought back to the ship, he is not the one who attacked the Robsons. So there has to be more than one of them on the island, over. I wouldn't. Sir, did you copy that? Put it down, Spider. Charlie 82, this is X-ray 82 over. Charlie A2, this is X-ray A2, radio check. Which one of you is Davis? Be me, Captain. Well, the Navy and Feds will be all over this island in no time. Might as well hand yourselves in now, save everyone a lot of trouble. <laughs> I happen to like trouble. Captain X, radio check. And you boys just uncovered several crates of it. Captain X, over. A uh, problem with the radio? There's nothing wrong with the radios. Two dads just service them. X, he's not talking. I think he was mute. Tried bamboo under the fingernails? Excuse me? Well, it is national security. You know what, Ro? You are not helping the situation. Swain, I want you to take Buffer and two others back to the island and set up a search. We're going to communicate on our coded frequency. Yes, ma'am. Ro, you stay on that radio. I'm going to inform NAVCOM of the situation. 
You obviously can't get these crates off the island. That's why you needed the Robson's boat, right? Charlie A2, this is Romeo A2. Come you in. You know Jack, Charlie A2. Little change of plan is all. Now keep moving. Yeah. Go on. Where are we going? <laughs> You'll find out when we get there. Now move. Yes, I understand that, Lieutenant, but it doesn't, thank you, it doesn't change the fact that the feds can't get there before tomorrow. Well, do we have any idea how dangerous this Davis guy is? Well, let's just assume he's really dangerous, Kate. But right now it's in your hands. Can you call me if you've got a problem? Yes, sir. Lieutenant. It's Kate. All right. What is it, Mr. Kershaw? Oh, nothing. Just the ship's abuzz. Something's going down. But we have a situation on Barclay Island that we're dealing with. This Davis guy, he's um, ex-army, yeah? Yeah, how do you know that? Our sailors talk. You know, you've been in the Navy long enough to know that. Well, we think that he has taken the CO and a seaman bosun's mate hostage. Has he? Why don't you let me over there? What? I'm ex-Navy. You know, I'm experienced with weapons, close quarter combat. Probably more experienced than anyone you might have sent. Well, then you'll know that I can't authorise that. So don't authorise it. Just let me go of my own accord. You're a civilian. I can't arm you. I can't let you put yourself in danger. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can. Flynn hasn't cornered the market on heroism, you know. In fact, if he's let some ex-Brown job get the better of him, then maybe everyone's overrated him. Including you. Will you excuse me? I have some work to do. Yes, ma'am. Where are you expecting to sell all this stuff? East Timor, New Guinea, Fiji. You're looking to buy Navy. Most of these pieces have serial numbers. They'll be traced back to you and you'll be held responsible for whatever atrocities they cause. You're the ones who profit from violence and misery, Captain. <clears throat> because a so-called defence force that like yours, that this stuff even exists. You used to be a part of that defence force, Davis. Not anymore, mate. My days as a career sergeant were long gone. Yeah, that's right. You were dishonourably discharged. Just shut your job and keep moving. I can't. I've got to stop. I said keep moving. I can't. Get to the beach. Get to the beach. You fall down again, and I'll shoot you luck, dog. Pick it up, girls. One, two, three. Uh, it's one of ours. Must be where they found the ordnance. X buffer. Here yeah, we're at what we believe is the CO and Spider's last known position. Found a radio, Spider's dire, no sign of the ordnance, over. Okay, buffer, you split up, you head to the highest point of the island and take a look around. Yeah, roger that. Bomb with me. Right. Two days, we'll take the high road. Keep your eyes open for anything else the boss may have left behind. <laughs> well, this is your transport. How far do you think you'll get in that? Far enough. All enough slacking off. Load her up. Oh, spider. One, two, three. Swain. Swain. Solemn stick. Let's go. See how and Spider, they're on the Norton Beach. There were two other men, and they appear to have a hovercraft over. They're loading the guns onto it as we speak, Eggs. Okay, Swain, I am going to send the second rib to the Northern Beaches to intercept. Okay, Buffer, where are you? Yeah, Eggs, Bomber and I are making for the rib on the beach. 
All right, make it quick. Let's go. Now what? Let's rev up the beach a bit. I'll get this thing started. Boss, please don't let him do this. You're not thinking this through. This will do. Get on your knees. How far do you think you'll get in a hovercraft? You'll never outrun our ribs and patrol boat. I said get on your knees. Oh. Listen, right now we're the only assets you've got. Your boat's on the other side of the island. By the time they find your bodies, we'll be long gone. Bay Navy! Got your weapon! Please, X. Set up a sentry roster to guard the ordnance. You haven't put Spider on it? No. Good. I think you'd be happy never to see those weapons again. Jeff Kershaw. Hmm. How well do you know him? Never met him before. Why? He seems to know you. Well, apparently he went through officer training after me at Adva. He's a bit of a strange one, some of the things that he said. Well, he's off the boat tomorrow. Get the feds to drop him back at Cairns. Meanwhile, I thought we should splice the old main brace. To hear their captain speaking, we'll be staying at anchor until the feds arrive in the morning. And to reward you for a good day's work, the X has suggested a steel beach barbecue on the boat deck. Nice one, X. I know nothing about it. So, Bomber, that means having that hot plate sizzling. That's all. So, that includes beer rations, sir? You're dreaming, Charge. Hey, Mike. Hey, uh, I just want to apologise for that crack before. Sir. Commander Marshall on the line? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, Davis is in austere with his two partners, and I've secured the armaments on the island with sentries. Easier than transporting them to the ship. 
All right, fellas, buffer, pick a card, any card. This way, though, no? hungry buffer. Man, I just bang, I just okay. fight, like, I don't, I don't really think about it too much. OK, Spider, all I'm saying is that if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Ace of spades. Yeah. Why would I want to talk about it, X? Because you shot a man, you goose. Yeah, most people would feel a little bit uncomfortable about that. Yeah, but he got back up again. It's not really the point, Spider. Did you feel anything? Yeah. It's a pretty stoked out shot buff, though. Typical guy. Yes, all bluff. There's a bit too much testosterone flying around this boat for my liking today. Roger. You're on a tight ship, Captain. I must be sad to leave it. Fed will ferry you back tomorrow. Let you get back to your life. Not much of a life. No boat, no business. Might as well ride along with you for a bit. Sir? Time for a refill. Pick a card, any card. Not that one. About time you showed up. Oh, shut up. Got waylaid by the mother of all storms. We've got no boat either. It's on the bottom of an Arafura. So how the hell do you claim to shift those guns? <laughs> You let me worry about that, right? You three, you just pretend he's still tied up, and at midnight, I'll switch those off and come get you. Stuff that, we're going now. Hey, where are you going? You stay here! Stay! Leave it! Do you want to get out of here? Huh? Do you want your money? You do what I say. At midnight, you'll be ready. Buff, you seen Jeff? No, sir. You a little lost? Uh, no, I was, um, I was just looking for the head. Next to my cabin, up here on one deck. Right, thanks. These Hamadars, I don't know what's where. Even after charges, grand tour. Pretty proud of this boat, aren't you? Everything you've achieved, fancy career and all. You've got your own private kingdom. There's you sitting up in your big chair, all high and mighty. <laughs> Twenty crew hanging on your every word, obeying your every whim. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty damn sweet for someone like you, isn't it, Captain Flynn? I think you're getting out of line here, Jeff. You know who you remind me of? Who's this lieutenant commander? What's his name? Ran navigation course, what's in his bay a while back. He had an affair with one of his students. She's a pretty little blonde thing. Totally inappropriate. Very hush hush. Does that uh, sound familiar to you? Ring me bells? Wouldn't his superiors just love to find out about that little episode? That dirty little affair. <laughs> it's just a joke. I don't think so. <laughs> you really got to lighten up, Flynn. You really are a bit grumpy. Right, do me a favour. Get on to NAVCOM and find out what you can about a Lieutenant Jeff Kershaw. Yes, sir. He was a navigator on Norman, I think. Sir, we got an email. It's regarding the inquest into E.T.'s death. You want to see me, sir? Yeah, come in, Nav. Shut the door. The coroner. Uh, delivered his finding today into the deaths of VT and the other divers. Thought you'd want to know. Accidental death. Given everything that's happened, I think that's the best outcome for all involved. Except for ET. Thank you for letting me know.
So you drew the short straw. I could be bored, mate. Not much to do. Ship being at anchor and all. Mm. Could be worse. Could have pulled sentry duty on the island. <laughs> Can't sleep? No. I'd forgotten how much these Navy boats creak. Even state of the art ones like this. Pick a card, any card. Ace of spades. <laughs> Alright, how'd you do that? <laughs> eh? No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> You sly dog. Tell me you didn't buy 52 packs just to get there. <laughs> now you actually remind me of a couple of blokes I used to sail with, two dads. Really? Yeah. How's that? Oh, well, you're good at your job. Damn fine sailor. Skilled technician. But you got a sense of humour. <laughs> you got that right. <clears throat> Long night ahead. Why don't you go and make yourself a brew? Maybe even get a little midnight snack. Hmm? I'll keep an eye on the bridge for you if you like. You're not supposed to leave the bridge unattended. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm ex Navy, remember? And I was practically a CO. You'd do that for me? You'd watch the bridge? No worries. One sailor to another. You're a good bloke, Jeff. <laughs> Wish it was more of your kind on the ship. I'll be back at five. Come in. What is so important that I can't wait till the morning? Uh, well, the CEO asked for this information earlier, but I didn't want to wake him before I check with you. He works very hard. I didn't know how important it was. Come in. Uh, so sorry to disturb you. What is it? You tasked Roe with getting some information on Jeff Kershaw. Kershaw was RNIM. He was kicked out. Uh huh. He failed his officer training course at ADFA, so he got his watchkeeper's ticket, and then he was caught stealing from his shipmates, court martialed, found guilty, and dismissed. Well, this makes him a liar. <laughs> I'm not sure what else it means. I think he's trouble. I agree with you there. What's the plan? We go to the island and we we'll get my guns! My guns! Until you pay for the fine! Our guns! Pull that pin! What's that? Rip crane. Jeff, what the hell's going on? Come on, let's To your efforts. A lot of very dangerous weapons won't make it onto the international black market. Now, we don't know where they were headed, but I guarantee they weren't destined for friendly hands. But more importantly, the Navy has saved the Army's bacon yet again. <laughs> so well done. Enjoy your shore leave, guys. You've earned a good break. Off you go. Hammersley, hook! Dismissed! Two dads, where are you off to? Uh, sure leave, sir. Not for you. You're on watch. 
teach you for leaving your post. Next time, you won't neglect your duties. Hi, sir. Listen, it sounds like this, um, Kershaw and Davis were a couple of disaffected servicemen who found out they had a bit in common. Like attracts like, I suppose. Well, Kershaw is a bit bitter and twisted. He had a bit to say about you. Really? Hmm. No. Jealousy, Mike. It's a curse. Well done. Poor Charge. I think he's embarrassed about falling for Jeff's wide-eyed Navy boy charm. Jeff sucked a lot of us in, not just charge. And hopefully two dads won't make the same mistake twice. So how do you think he knew? I don't know. Maybe he had a mate at Watson's Bay on the navigation course. Right, so he heard some scurrilous rumours about Mike Flynn and his blonde student. We've got nothing to be ashamed about, Kate. No, we just wouldn't want that particular piece of information to become public knowledge. I don't think maybe Command would care, to be honest. What's past is past. I just wouldn't want it to... Change the way things are. Something like that.